the debt consolidation refinance and how it can benefit you. Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Trevarthan. I am Jeff the Mortgage Pro. Thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you could do me two huge favors, number one, hit the like button down below this video, especially because this is one of my favorite topics to talk about when we're doing mortgage loans, debt consolidation. And number two, if you can subscribe to my channel, if you like my videos, I'd love to get my message out to more people and that helps the algorithm to push my video out to more people if you do subscribe. So thanks so much for doing that, I really appreciate it. Let's talk about our topic today, debt consolidation refinances. So debt consolidation refinances are uh, also called cash out refinances. <clears throat> and really what we're doing here is taking other debts that we may have and rolling them into our, our mortgage loan. And our new mortgage loan is going to be bigger than our existing mortgage loan. So we're going to pay off debt with the extra cash that we have that comes out of that mortgage. So uh, the first major benefit of this is that yeah, you could potentially lower the interest rates. So right now uh, we're in 2023. Credit card utilization is at an all-time high in history. That means that people are probably paying anywhere from 18 to 30 percent on their credit cards, which is significantly high. And if you think that mortgage rates are high at you know six and a half, seven percent, um, you know, try paying off a fifty thousand dollar you know credit card or a car loan that is huge interest like that. So the benefit of doing a debt consolidation refinance is that you can take those higher interest rate credit cards, car loans, whatever they may be, and roll them into your mortgage payment if you have enough equity. And this will help us consolidate those into a lower uh, interest rate when we do this over time. So we're also spreading the debt out. And so because we're spreading the debt out, we're going to have a lower monthly payment. And just so you know, mortgage money is still just about the cheapest money that's out there. And what I mean by that is that you can't find very many loans over a long term, like a mortgage loan that has interest rates, yeah, even in the sixes. Uh, so relatively cheap money with a mortgage payment, the cheapest money around. Um, and that's why I like the debt consolidation refinance, especially because the lower your interest rates are lower in your monthly payments, huge benefit. Uh, number two is that you have simplified debt management. So if if you have a lot of credit cards that you've rung up over the last couple of years as inflation has pushed things up tremendously in terms of the cost of goods and services. Um, maybe you have higher interest rate car loans or you have student loans that you want to consolidate that who knows what's going to happen with those. Um, all of those things, if you roll them in your mortgage, become just one payment, just a one single mortgage payment every single month. And that can really simplify um, the, the debt management that you have uh, when you're managing that load with one payment versus 10 payments that you may have, right? So simplified debt management is benefit number two. And benefit number three is improved cash flow. This is the biggest benefit of doing this. Just like we talked about on number one, uh, you're gonna have lower interest rates when you have mortgage debt versus all other types of debt. And what that's gonna do is to create a lower uh, monthly payment versus the cash flow that you have coming out. So, and what do I mean by that? So let's say you have a mortgage and you have four credit cards and the debt going out on those credit cards is like 500 bucks a month. Uh, and then on the mortgage, let's say you have a $2,500 mortgage. So you're looking at a $3,000 monthly payment. Well, if you roll those credit cards into your mortgage payment, your mortgage payment might only go up like $200 uh, for rolling that debt into your, uh, into your mortgage. And so your pr cash flow would improve by $300 a month, which is, which is great. And it gets even bigger. The more debt that you have, the cash flow improves by that much more. So that's a huge benefit of doing a cash out refinance and consolidating all of your debt into one single loan. And then a bonus for you for doing a debt consolidation refinance, a bonus benefit. Uh, sometimes your cash out is tax deductible. And again, here, I'm not a CPA, but for example, let's say you're paying off a HELOC that you used to, uh, you know, put on a bathroom <laughs> on your house. So that money was used to improve your property. And now you're consolidating that higher interest rate HELOC into a lower fixed rate monthly payment that's spread out over time. Your monthly cash flow is improved, but you can also possibly still write off some of that interest on there. And again, I'm not a CPA, so don't take my word for it, but there are some instances where you can write off that 
that uh, on your taxes when you're doing a debt consolidation refinance. So what other reasons can you think of? Love to hear from me in the comments down below. Is a debt consolidation refinance something you do? I've been doing a ton of these lately and I want to do more of them because I it's like so rewarding to see people, um, you know, get out of the rat race a little bit and really improve their cash flow situations, especially uh, when it's getting really tight right now. Uh, like I said, with higher inflation, pushing the cost of goods and services up through the roof. Um, if you have any questions at all and you want to talk about this, please make sure you hit me up on my calendar link down below. Let's schedule an appointment with me. Love to chat with you for 15 minutes and learn more about your scenario and see if I can help. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to chatting with you on the next show. Have a good one. Bye.